Aviation News is here today at Blagnac Airport near Toulouse in France. Uh, we've been invited to visit the A380 facility. You can see behind me an A380 test plane. It's a really beautiful plane. It's a beautiful day. Everything is perfect. We're on the runway. I'm here with Mr. Jean-Michel Roy, who is one of the test pilots of the A380 for Airbus Industries. Uh, and Mr. Roy is going to bring me aboard and explain to us uh, the latest developments of technology that have been introduced to the A380. I think we are here in front of the best aircraft that aviation has designed up to now. Let's have a look on board. First question, like all new products, the birth of the A380 suffered from a few teething problems. The micro cracks in the wings and uh, through no fault of your own, of course, the performance issues of the Rolls-Royce Trent 900. All of these cause concern. Is all of this behind us now? Well, to develop an aircraft takes many years, you know, it takes about seven years. And we have to put together new ideas in terms of structure, in terms of systems, in terms of engine. The result is here today, it's the A380, which is probably the flagship of many airlines around the world. I think we have reached a fantastic result, having people working all over Europe, in Germany, in the UK, in Spain, in France, in order to bring to the world the best that technology allows. Yes, when you develop something, you have to face some difficulties. All these difficulties are normal in such a big program. At the end of the day, we have to make people happy because they fly a good airplane. Airbus made the radical choice of creating a family of aircraft with similar cockpit configurations, thereby slashing training costs. Do you believe that the A380 and the A340 are still closely related and that flight crews will be able to switch between models with the same rating? Well, this is a very important question. What makes a difference between Airbus and the competition is that we at Airbus, we have developed technology in order to facilitate the life of the airline by bringing a family of products. What does it mean? That means that if you look at the five main tasks that the pilot has to do, which is to fly, to navigate, to communicate, to manage system, and to manage mission, we have developed solutions with both communality and innovation. And that's very important because if you look at other industries, like cars, for example. When you want to buy a new car, you just go to the shop with your driver license. You are given some explanation about the differences, but globally, your driver license allows you to drive any kind of car. That's thanks to a certain standardization. But that's what we have reached within the Airbus fly-by-wire family. If you look at the fly car, for example, the fly-by-wire architecture has been the same. 320. 380 and soon to be 350 with the very same side stick and the control laws behind with the same stress levers with the engine controls behind this is for us the key of success we are not looking to lower the quality of pilots but to invest at the right time i think it's important to invest at the beginning when the guy, the guy comes for the first time on an airbus aircraft it's important also to keep his skills open with adequate recurrent training. But yes, thanks to communality, we can bring interesting, efficient solutions, both for the pilots and for the airlines. According to the French Aviation Authorities, the BEA, the tragic A F447 accident occurred because of pilot confusion over the spatial position of the A330 that they were flying and the resultant contradictory command inputs ensued. Do you believe that the design of the A380 has improved the inherent difficulties which exist between the human factor and the latest technology? Well, as I said, communality and innovation have been the pillars of the A380 design. Man is on board, at the same time, the best element and sometimes the most delicate element of the chain. We have to continue to invest on man. We, as aircraft designers, 
we do develop innovative solutions to keep man into the loop. For example, we are bringing now airport navigation map in order to help the guy to know where he is on an airport. Because sometimes, you know, at five o'clock in the morning in a foggy atmosphere in London or maybe in Roma, you can be lost. So let's try to help man to be the best. We, we have also to recognize that in some cases, which happened in the US, for example, not long time ago, man was the key for the solution, you know, and unfortunately, uh, an aircraft has uh, encountered some uh, goose. Uh, <laughs> a bird strike, certainly. Bird strike. <laughs> At the end of the day, the man had to react very quickly in a very short period of time. And thanks to the technology of the aircraft, and thanks also to its exceptional quality, the guy has found the right solution. So it's very difficult to say that we master 100% of the case, but every day, our engineers all over the world try to analyze what's happening in the world and to bring new ideas and new solutions for the safety of our passengers. Recent studies seem to establish that the comfort of the passengers and the fatigue of the flight crew are also determined by the quantity and type of plane vibrations transmitted by the airframe and the engines during flight. Is the A380 innovative in this regard and what specific research conducted in its development? You're right to say that the cabin, first of all, is extremely important because that's in the cabin we put our passengers and our passengers, now they travel all over the world, maybe only for a day of work and then have, they have to come back. So for us, the comfort of the cabin has been a key element for the design of the tree. But it's true also that the people working in this environment, the pilots, the cabin crew, have to be offered a comfortable environment in order to do the best job possible. We have been working a lot on the noise level here in this company. And the result is that we are offering by far the most comfortable cockpit in the world in terms of vibration, in terms of noise. We are at least 4 dB less than any, anything else in the world. So this is extremely important. We frequently interview senior airline executives and for them carbon-based emissions are a huge problem. Uh, and obviously uh, the problem is gaining increasing public and governmental attention. Why is the A380 ahead of the competition in this field? That's a good question, first of all, to look at the module, the 380 module. We have designed a big aircraft in order to concentrate 500 people leaving one place to another one instead of multiplying the amount of emissions, multiplying the number of takeoff, for example, the noise associated or the carbon that will be uh, burned during the flight, having one flight is for sure better than to have multiple flights. That's one thing. In addition, these engines which have been put on the A380, should it be the Rolls-Royce engines or the um, uh, GE Pratt & Whitney Alliance engine, are exceptionally performing in terms of noise, in terms of consumption. You have to know that when you are on board of a 380, you are burning less fuel than when you are in your car. It's about 3 liters per 100 km per person. I think this figure has to stay in people's mind. We are working towards solutions which are the best for the world. And we call our airplane the green giant because it's really a green aircraft. Okay. Some voices accuse Airbus of being a bit technology heavy. Uh, you obviously have vast experience at the controls of all kinds of models. Do you believe that the A380 is pilot friendly? Yes, the A380 is pilot friendly because we have tried to bring on board some technology that you have today at home. I, I give you an example. Today, everybody has a personal computer at home. So to enter data, why should we use the way we, we used 20 years ago? 
it's much more natural to have a trackball, to bring a cursor in a field, to enter data, to come here, bring a cursor here, to bring an aircraft and to draw flight plan graphically. This is something technology makes available today and it would be a pity not to use it. Now, I agree with you, we should not bring on board technology for the fun of the technology, but technology which brings something, should it be in terms of safety, efficiency. Would you give three reasons to a passenger why he should be he or she should be particularly happy when he finds out that he's about to fly on an A380? Well, if I had to give three uh, main reasons, I would say probably for a passenger, comfort, comfort, and comfort. This aircraft has really been designed to be the most comfortable palace in the sky. Uh, we have worked a lot on the level of noise and vibration in the cabin. And really, when you are on board, you can feel that. When you travel as a passenger, you can feel the difference compared to any other airplane you can have in the sky. I would say efficiency is also a very important factor. You can see behind you the main elements, which are, of course, the wing first. The wing, which has been designed to fly at high speed in cruise and offer the best lift for the minimum drag. It's also quite efficient at low speed for takeoff and landing, allowing you to operate at the max takeoff weight on a 3,000 meters long runway and to land as short as 1,200 meters at the maximum landing weight. The engines, of course, are last technology with a very good fuel consumption, offering a, a level of uh, efficiency which is quite appreciated by the airline. So all this aircraft is really a concentrate of technology who makes customers around the world having the feeling that they are traveling in a kind of super class S of the sky. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Wa. Uh, really, it's been a very interesting visit.